Hello folks and welcome back to our playthrough of Siege of Avalon. In the last episode we started out chapter 2, had a whole lot of uh, dialogue stuff that we went through, and now we are ready to actually venture out into the caves where we are searching for the earth stone to prevent the temple down here from rising up and destroying the castle. What's this guy have to say? Kilmer. I'm sure glad I'm not you. What do you mean? Well, you're about to go into the caves. I'm glad I don't have to pull duty in there. Why, what's so scary down there? A couple of stalactites, some algae, and weird noises. Lots of weird noises. It's enough to drive a man batty. You hear them from here? Yeah, those caverns are really strange. They garble a man's voice so bad you can't hear what he's saying. It echoes around there so much that the scraping of a booted sound is like, well, like something else. Something eerie. Then I'll bet it's just that, soldier. A booted foot. Pardon me, I have official business in these caverns. So he's just a scaredy cat. Alright, so our first little quest that we'll do is to tell Weldon that his replacement isn't coming because... I don't know. <laughs> some kind of uh, HR issue. That's Val? Who's this guy? Oh, he says the same stuff. Well, we missed a little area over here, so we'll check that out real quick. Just to make sure we're not missing any uh, decent items or whatever. Mm, doesn't look like it, though. Oh, that's how you transfer items. You just talk to the character directly. Again, it's been a while since I've played this game, so I don't quite remember all the mechanics with, uh, with the... Uh, heroes and that sort of thing. Well, this is Elwick. Any problem? No. Just wondering why you're down here. We don't get a lot of visitors. Don't you guards talk amongst yourselves? No, sir. The caves make pretty much everything sound strange. Uh, noises. Eh, farewell. Alright. Weldon, Weldon, Weldon. Where are you? Oh, of course. They gotta do spooky noises. And a cave lurker. Oh dear. Phew. Well, that could have been difficult. Let's heal up Dinadon here. How many training points do I have right now? Oh, only two. That's not good. Oh, and there's that cave golem that uh, was mentioned earlier. I wonder if cold damage would maybe do better against them. Possibly? Let's save where we are. Also, let's see, set to aggressive. I guess that works for him. Phew. Anything? Nope, nothing. Ooh, fudge! Okay, one bad thing about using uh, Dindon here is you can hit him with your own spells. Well, the spells that Felk's Apprentice is giving us are definitely useful, that's for sure. We're still looking for this guard around here, though. Let's check back over in this area. No, 
Nothing on the cave lurker. Oh, a couple cave lurkers here. Quit trying to kill him, damn it. Phew. Does he have any spells? Oh, he does actually have a heal spell. Well, good. I can use him to heal me up, like, after battle. He won't heal in battle, but it'll still be something to speed things up a little bit. So one thing I want to check, do the training points that I get? No, they don't get any training points. Darn. Guess it's just for me. It would make things interesting, though. Mustafa? Uh, no. A lot of these guards seem to say the same thing, which is kind of disappointing. Oh well. There's Weldon, but before we go do that, we want to clear out this cave because, you know, always want to get as many training points as possible. save again because this next guy we're not gonna have a lot of mana to take on but we're doing pretty good with this setup here again as I uh, said earlier just got to be careful with the magic with these uh, companions. All these guys really aren't putting up much of a fight, which is a good thing, I guess. Uh, also, it looks like there's actually a couple different areas around here to check out. Um, actually, now that I think about it, the way that Wayland or Wellen or whatever the hell that guy's name is, because I can't remember, Bolden, I think. I think the way, way that he's blocking is actually you don't go that for this chapter. It's actually something for a later chapter. Oh! Uh, Dinadon. Oh, you are you were attacking another guy. Good job! No! Gosh damn it! We were doing so well.
so well. We're not receiving too many training points from all of these guys, unfortunately, so... Alright, so while we have a moment, I should probably actually do a comparison of my mysticism versus the uh, Felix Apprentice here. So I have 36 adjusted, Felix Apprentice is 32, so I'm actually a little bit better than the Apprentice. Which is a good sign, I mean, I would hope so, being the main character and all, and having put a lot of my points into that. Alright, so let's go talk to Weldon here. Let him know that no one's coming. Greetings, sir. You, you're you not my replacement, are you? I can't let you through this gate. I don't even have the keys. And I need orders. Of course not, sol soldier. I have been sent to inform you that your relief is ill, and that Wacian is currently looking for a replacement. Oh, okay. <sighs> you're the first person I have seen since my watch started, and my replacement was due here a little while ago, so I didn't know what was going on. I'm the first person you've seen since your watch started? You haven't seen a courier come through here? No, sir. And even if I did, he couldn't get through the gate, like I was trying to tell you earlier. I don't have a key, so I guess the guard who's sick was supposed to bring it. Besides, it takes the order of the council to open this gate, because it was intended as an escape route. Thank you, soldier. I must be on my way now. Well, what does our journal say? Well, let's look at the last one. After being forced by the captain of the watch to inform one of his guards of a shift change problem, I learned something disturbing. The guard I was to take the message to, a rather unimpressive man, informed me that he has seen no one through his shift, which must have started some 12 hours ago and counting. If this is true, and he assures me it is, then the courier Roth sent has not passed through. Sir Roth should be informed of this at once. Um... I forgot entirely about the whole courier thing. Because I was kind of skipping through some of the Sir Roth stuff. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of... Oh, here's the courier. Well, hello, I... Can you help me out of here? I have urgent news to bring to King Vortigern. Vortigerm, whatever. And I've gotten lost in these caves. Lost, you say? With a bedroll on the ground, tunic unbuttoned, Boots placed aside with socks in them? For whatever reason, you're settling in. I figured you for a shady character the first time I saw you. Do you take me for a fool? Yes, I take you for a fool. A dead one. Draw steel, craven traitor. Well, that's not good. The courier decided to attack us. Does he have anything good on him? Not really. Longbow, we've already done that. Yeah, nothing too special. Well, this is just lovely. Another journal entry. I guess that's the courier coming to attack us. A uh, brief conversation. Well, let's see. Regardless, I have retrieved the letter and will return it to Roth. So he can assign someone he trusts to this information. Though you'd think that they would assign a decent courier just to start. So that's not... <laughs> Not a good sign. <laughs> There's already incompetence within the ranks. Um, lovely. There's a whole bunch of dead people around here, surrounding a dead knight. Well, let's see. Anyone have anything good? A serrated broadsword. Uh, too heavy for us, though. But I'll grab it. It could be something good to sell, maybe. And a curved hand razor. Eh, again, grab it just to try and sell it. Alright, he has some nice armor on him, it looks like. A signet ring and a sword of Ezra. 
another one that we found from uh because we found a sort of Ezra earlier as well a black loincloth I am not going to be taking this guy's loincloth I'm sorry <laughs> Actually, I wonder if that sort of Ezra might go well with uh, our whatchamacallit guy here. Let's see. 7, 10, 45. 7, 19. He has a lot of coordination for a mage. No, don't try and kill me, you bastard. All right. Well, I'm not entirely sure what all that knight was looking for besides death, but uh, I suppose we'll have to try and find a home for him, I guess. There must be someone back there who can tell us who he was. Uh-oh, Shahul. Uh, that's not exactly a good thing. No! I got a little rough there, but we uh, survived it. Let's see, anything good on these guys? A war axe, some Ahul metal pauldrons, and Ahul arm guards, and arm bands. A lot of Ahul stuff. Uh, nothing too special, really, though. And on that first guy. Yeah, looking through everything here, it seems for the most part, although I will say this leather Ahul helmet might actually be a little decent. That might be better than our regular leather hood. 2551, 25, oh, I guess not. Never mind, I thought it was going to be better. Ooh, giant spiders. We don't want those. Although I guess they were relatively easy to defeat, so... Alright, so we've made our way back over to Bones, so let's see what he can actually teach us. Uh, so he can teach us protection from cold, protection from fire, and then he has an aura of iron spell, protection from lightning, then there's energy management, lesser meditation, and wizard craft. Wizard craft gives plus two perception, coordination, three mysticism, and one recharge rate. thinking let's do wizard craft and then let's do lesser meditation as well I think we'll definitely want to get the rest of those before we continue on to the next chapter especially those protection spells because once we get into later parts of the game and face off against some of the very powerful mages that they have, well, you'll definitely want protection spells there, as well as some decent uh, protection armor. Alright, so we've returned to Sir Roth here, we'll tell him about the courier. I found the courier, he drew steel and died at my feet and I have retrieved the letter. That seems to be the order of the day. Traitors at every turn. This is ridiculous. 
I wish Overon had taken all his little buddies with him straight to the pits of Asheron. You have done well, lad. Have you anything else to report? Yes, I do have something else. I wanted to ask you about the locked room I found. I'm sure it's someone's room, but... Hmm, yes, the Cathians have been locked up in there for quite some time. I wonder what they're up to. There could be a problem. Would you look into it? Certainly, Lord Sir Roth. Thank you, lad. Take this key, you'll need it. If it turns out that His Highness is Sternus needs assistance, I'm sure he will want you to report to him for a time. I'll start work on it as soon as possible. Alright, so in the last episode, when we were roaming around, there was a little room somewhere around here that was all locked up. So we're going to try and get into there and see exactly what's going on. We'll probably want to save before we go in, just in case it's something major. Because I admit, I don't quite remember what happened there. Is this the room? That might be the room. Ooh! There's a whole bunch of uh, books in here as well that you can read through. Although it doesn't look like any of them actually had anything, any goodies or anything, so... Alright, I think this is the room, so we'll, we'll save it here. And let's see what's inside. Uh, no one's home. This guy. I hear out Sir Dinadon has become part of your group. I'd l tell you to take care of him. Uh, I believe this expedition will do him good. He seemed thrilled. Uh, he's gonna talk our ears off when he gets back. Like he doesn't already. <laughs> Alright, so I thought that was the locked room, that wasn't the locked room, so let's continue going. Alright, so the locked room is actually all the way over on the far other side of the keep. So let's open it up. How dare you intrude on the Cathian court? Sorry, I'm just trying to find out what is going on here. We have Brother Larry, Lady Chadwick. Sir Kiner. How did you get in here? Why don't you tell me what, why you have all secluded yourselves? No mention? I have a bad feeling about this. Sir Elaine. What does Lady Chadwick have to say? Oh, our poor king! Please, madam, what is the matter? Oh, maybe Brother Larry has something. What a blessing to see you, lad. You do not know me, but I have heard of you. Yes, indeed. Stories are beginning to circulate the keep about you, young man. You've proven yourself a dependable fellow who can accomplish a great deal on his own. The court of Cathia is in a rather desperate fix, and I believe an able soul such as yourself might be just the right man to help us. Tell me of your dilemma, good monk. Perhaps I can do something for you. What I am about to reveal to you must not, you must sh not share with anyone. If this gets out, the kingdom of Cathia could come to resemble divided Taberland in no time. If you don't feel you can trust me, monk, well, let's see. Rest assured, sir, that I have earned my good name and don't care to tarnish it. Please tell me what the crisis has befallen the Cathians. It is a most stark time for us, my boy. King Isternus has somehow been poisoned. By whom and with what, we do not know. Before he went out of his head, he ordered us to keep his condition a secret. I have tried every antidote I could concoct, but nothing has worked. He is falling fast, failing fast, and I am powerless to heal him without knowing what poison comes through his noble veins. If someone could locate the poisoner and find out what he used, I could probably brew an antidote in no time. How much time does he have? Not long. Days, possibly. Uh, very well, monk. Since there's no time to lose, where do you suggest I begin? You might search with the alchemist Fester. He would probably have access to the herbs and ichors that most poisons are made from. I'm going to ask. I was going to ask him myself, but I'm afraid it might draw the kind of attention the king commanded us to avoid. All right, so I'm off to see Fester, who's on the other side of the inner keep, level two here. 
So apparently he's been poisoned. I'm guessing probably another one of General Overon's people are at work in this uh, manner. So let's see if we can get to Fester. This is, this might get to him. I'll say one good thing about bad thing about this game is the level design is relatively decent. Uh, the bad thing though is that you can get lost and the map kind of sucks because you're only given this area and you can't scroll in the map. So if you need to get somewhere and you don't have like access or like if you need to get somewhere, sometimes it's hard to tell. So you actually have to move yourself and then look at the map again. Which, I mean, it gives you a little challenge, so. But frustrating anyways. All right, uh, let's see. How goes your business? Even in war time, people suffer the aches and imbalances of everyday life. Uh, la 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 la. You haven't heard of anyone around Avalon with any moonberry roots or dog's head mushrooms, have you? I thought I had plenty, since I don't use them that often, but I couldn't find any in my lab today. Do you think someone might, someone might have taken them? It is possible, I suppose. With the war on, people are beginning to hoard the strangest things. That's actually one reason I've been able to find some replacements. I end up trading small tonics to some in exchange for any ingredients people might have that I could use. Honestly, I don't know why someone would want to take those mushrooms or roots, since there are much more obviously valuable substances in my lab. In fact, if I didn't take pride in keeping my stock so well inventoried, I wouldn't have even missed them. I almost never use them anymore, for much safer substances have been, dis been, bleh, been discovered. Safer, are they poisonous, Fester? Not really, although they sometimes make people more sick than they were before they took them. Most people don't care to get headaches in exchange for curing their rashes, or dizzy dizziness for ending insomnia. Funny you ask about them being poisonous, though. I ran across an old text in the library detailing a treatment for brain fevers. That, when given to a healthy man, could be fatal. It mentioned using moonberry root, dog's head mushrooms, and night fairy's breath as the ingredients. I never gave it much thought, since brain fevers are rare in Avalon. Also, I haven't had any night, night fairy's breath in ages, so I've never been able to make that particular tonic. Where might I find night berries? Night... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to keep calling this thing night berries. <laughs> night fairy's breath. The merchant Reyes is quite well-traveled and disordered. Somewhere around, among his chaotic collection of odds and ends, one might find just about anything. If I needed it and was willing to pay or trade for it, he's the person I would go to. Reyes? I have absolutely no idea where this Reyes is. Because I don't think I've encountered him on this level. So maybe he's on the lower level of the keep? Well, I guess I'm off to find out where this Reyes is. Actually, never mind. Uh, the adventure log tells you. So, Fester told me to speak to the Merchant Reyes in the Inner Bailey about Night Fairy's Breath. Although I don't think I can get to the Inner Bailey yet, since I haven't visited it. So we'll have to do it the actual way. Alright, so we found Reyes. He's down just a little bit from the uh, main roadway, so... Greetings, noble sir. Would you care to sample my wares? I regret that I have little in the way of quantity or variety these days, but considering the shortages of the war, I suppose I should be thankful that I can stay open at all. Well, first, let's uh, check and see what he has. A staff of power. Uh, magic stuff related to it. But beyond that, nothing too special. I'd be able to uh, wield it, but eh, nothing too special. So let's actually... I'm looking for something special, actually. Night Fairy's Breath. The Alchemist Fester said he might have some in stock. Odd that you should ask that. I hadn't sold any of that particular herb, which used to be popular for inducing sleep in quite some time. 
Then, just the other day, I sold some to a page. Today, here you are, asking for the same herb. I hope this isn't the start of a new trend. I don't know where I can possibly get more, but I hate to disappoint my customers. You wouldn't happen to remember that page's name, would you? Not offhand, though I remember seeing him in the main hall a few times. I've been in the keep lately. Thank you, Piraeus. I must be off. So we're looking for a page who has been in the main keep or main hall or whatever. Now, with any luck, we'll see him actually, like, right around here. Um, but it's never, never that easy. Or maybe it is? You should see this place when the kings are all in residence. I swear, all of Avalon tries to fit in here at once. I imagine it must be quite a sight. And that's apparently not the one that we're looking for. Alright, so I passed by Fester again because I still haven't found this page. And Fester told me that to find the text about that one herb that I was looking for to talk to Marcus here in the library. So, greetings, I am Marcus, librarian of the King. How may I help you? I seek knowledge of a book of herbal mixtures, particularly one with a treatment for brain fever. I know exactly the book you seek. Strangely enough, I located it for a page of all people only recently. Perhaps he has ambitions to become an alchemist one day. Otherwise, I cannot imagine why he would want to see it. Let's see if I can find it. He looks for some time. Odd, I can't find it anywhere. Where could it be? You'll have to excuse me, sir, but we lack the staff to keep the library functioning at full efficiency during wartime. You wouldn't happen to remember anything about him, would you? You see, I'm a bit of an amateur herbalist myself, and I would like to look him up to discuss our mutual interest. I remember his name was Simic, but nothing else comes to mind about the fellow. With any luck, I'll be able to track him down. I won't be needing that book after all, so don't bother finding it. Thank you, Marcus. I'm off. Oh my god. So, I think this is actually the page that I talked to earlier in front of all the uh, chairs. But for whatever reason, it didn't give me... No, that's... Melo. Okay, never mind. So, Simic. Okay. Well, at least I have a bit of a lead now, kind of. Uh, well, let's try talking to um, Marcus, or not Marcus, uh, Fester again, and see if he has any more leads for us. All right. Um, okay, never mind. Fester doesn't have anything useful there. So we have to find Simic on our own then. Um, well, let's try checking back and see if maybe he's at the scene of the crime. All right, that was an utter waste of time. So we know who we're looking for, but trying to find this guy is going to be such a pain. Such a god-awful pain. Okay. <laughs> so apparently we missed it last time that we passed through here. But Simic is just standing here now, so... We can finally talk to him. Can I help you? I would speak with you for a moment, Paige. What do you need, sir? Your name wouldn't be Simic, would it? Why, yes, sir, that is my name. Er, why do you ask? I understand you have an interest in herbs, Paige. Would you care to share your latest experiments with me? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. I'm too busy running, running hither and th thither oh God, to uh, have any time to play with plants. You seem to have plenty of time to play with me, so why don't we play the truth game? If you have any more of that poison, I would advise you to hand it over now. We might just be able to save King Isdernus, and perhaps yourself, if you cooperate now. I don't know what you're talking about. 
already have your employer, so you might as well confess and make it easy on yourself. Impossible! There's no way you could know. I was too... Er now you will die. Be your worst assassin. And I burn him down. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what's on his body. A little green vial, some pants, and an army doublet. Okay, well let's take the vial back up. And with any luck, we'll be able to save the king here. Now, my general understanding for this kingdom, because, you know, this is the second king that we're talking about now, is that there are actually like seven kingdoms that make up this whole area. So, King Isdernus is just one of them, of the Chathians, oh, the Cathayans, that's what it is. You have it, I can't believe it. Now I can save the king. We will never forget your service, young one. All of Cathaya should be in your debt. Please accept, as a small token of our gratitude, a spell that will protect you from those of your enemies. We can't afford to lose an ally, monk. I'm glad to do my part. So what did he teach us? Resist all. Okay. Well, that's not bad, then. Especially if we go up against someone who uh, has a mixture of various spells. Now, does that include resisting for, um, like, these things, too? Let's see. 31, 41, 49... Nope, so it doesn't do anything for the physical stuff, but it does all the magical resistance, so that's still not bad. Alright folks, I'm going to end this episode here for today. Um, a lot of running around, but a little bit of a an attempted murder mystery, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I know there's a lot that I need to cut out from my recording here because my total record time like right now is like an hour and most of that was just running around trying to find this darn page so yeah that was a pain but in the next episode we should finally get back to roaming around the underground and uh finding out where we can find this earth stone and all that so thanks for watching folks hope you enjoyed if you haven't already be sure to subscribe like and if you can think of anything be sure to comment as well uh, always appreciate any comments, so thanks for watching folks, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.